His clients were Nautica, J. Crew, Christian Dior, and the list goes on and on. Fashion photographer Michael Belk was always on the go. His work took him to Australia, Paris, and the Caribbean, just to name a few. And Michael loved shooting the places his travels took him. Living a life in which you were on the go all the time um, became really, for me, it became like a drug. There was something fun about being on a plane, going places, uh, usually staying in good accommodations at someone else's expense. From the outside, Michael seemed to have it all, but he was miserable. There was always something missing. And I can remember sitting with my friends saying, no, it's simpler than this. I don't know what it is, but it's, this is just, this isn't the answer. And as the success came, that's when I started thinking, and this was you know, many years ago before I did anything about it, uh, I started wondering, you know, is God expecting something more from me? And, um, and what is this emptiness? Michael started his own ad agency and made millions. And then the recession of 2008 hit him hard, along with poor financial decisions. Michael was back to square one, trying to make a living and fighting those feelings of loneliness and emptiness. Things just kept getting darker and darker, and, and then they started getting panicky because I knew I was going down into a place I'd never been before. I remember thinking to myself, I can't get out of this. I've gone too far. Michael was scared. He thought he had nowhere to turn. I can't tell you that God stood in my room and I saw him, but the presence of God was in my room. It was just very matter of fact. And he said, what now? And I remember I hated words like surrender and salvation and, and stuff like that. I just hated to hear words like that. But that, that night I remember thinking surrender and I kind of got it, you know, I give uncle, uh, you know, I can't, I can't do this. And I remember saying, uh, I'd like to go your way. I'd like to try your way, because I don't know what my way is. I'm, you know, I'm just totally lost here. Michael prayed to become a Christian that night. Several years later, he married Cheryl. His photography business picked up, but Michael still felt there was more for him to do. I was fascinated with God placing a dream on everyone's heart, not just on mine, but on everyone's heart and how we will remain restless in life and unfulfilled until we find that dream. And man, that spoke deeply to my soul. So I started telling everybody about the dream God had laid on my heart. And it was this dream to create this collection of images that would depict messages of Christ, not in a religious context, but in, a, in the real sense of who Jesus was, why he came, what he had to say, and how that'll impact your life right now. His book, Journeys with the Messiah, was shot in Matera, Italy where Mel Gibson shot The Passion of the Christ. The project took two years to complete, but Michael knows it's really been a lifetime in the making. God doesn't need my pictures, and, and God doesn't need my plans. God needs, you know, He needs our hearts. None of us is worthy. God is holy. He is pure. He is flawless. But we all become worthy uh, because He paid the price that we could become worthy through the death of a son. And that's a pretty difficult story to understand, but if people take time to get into that story, take time to listen to what he had to say, then you, you can't come away with anything but the truth.